going down business with Aaron Cliver. <laughs> yeah. Going down at business with Aaron Cliver. Boom. Welcome to Growing Up Business. We're back, friends. Thanks for uh, being patient, but uh, I will say everybody that's been listening and watching, uh, you've been listening and watching because uh, people are watching back episodes. They're commenting on back episodes. They're listening to episodes on uh, iTunes and everywhere you listen to podcasts, you can find them. Uh, yeah. So, and all my friends who uh, know me from uh, Pittsburgh Radio, 107 Bubba Show, People are listening on the Odyssey app. It's even on the Odyssey app. Uh, you can check it on any, anywhere you listen to podcasts. You can listen to me uh, joke around and riff and hang out with some of my friends and uh, talk to some of my celebrity friends and cool friends. But right now, it's just me and, uh, of course, my friend Little Face. Uh, <laughs> I, only, I only say that because uh, <laughs> Sam, Sam, yeah. has me produce from across the uh, multiple rivers and the uh, the uh, terrible roads of uh, uh, freeways of Ohio is what separate us. Uh, <laughs> the the under construction seventy west of all time. Always uh, under the, construction. The speed trap, uh, a worse one of the worst speed traps on earth from Ohio to Indiana. Mm -hmm. Beware. Mm -hmm. um, I'm tell I can tell everybody around the country. If you want to know where the worst speed traps are, ask comedians. <laughs> Because we have driven all over the country. And I will say, if I wanted to drive from here to Sam's house, I would see, I would say from here to Sam's house, it's probably some, by the way, somebody on the internet, Sam, is going to take what I'm saying and figure out where we're at. <laughs> you ever see people do that? Yes. They're like, I heard him give me four clues and he is in. Uh, and they'll Minnesota. pinpoint me. Boom. Dude, if I drove probably about what four and a half hours to get to Sam yes across Ohio everybody knows I'm in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania I would see no less than how many police waiting for speed traps I'm gonna put a number on my head and let Sam guess what I'm thinking how many cops I would see from between Pittsburgh you and me Sam I'm gonna well, say de depends. Okay, are you going? Crazy, through, are you going but, through Columbus or are you going through the north side to come to get? To ooh, because there are a couple of different routes here. Now, 70 and the Turnpike are two different things. Yeah, I know. That's why so I'm, I'm, I'm taking 70 West. There's okay. my number. Eight. Oh, got it perfectly. <laughs> Eight cops. <laughs> I think from Pittsburgh to seeing Sam in the western side of Ohio, <laughs> I will see eight state troopers <laughs> waiting. Boom. Yeah. You yeah, know your it's, state, it's buddy. It's insane. It is yeah. crazy. Well, if I drove east of Philadelphia, I'd see 13 police officers on the turnpike. And they would all be after Harrisburg. <laughs> <laughs> Any, from Harrisburg to Philly, I swear, you can get a state trooper every mile marker. Boom. Welcome to Grown Out Business. Uh, Sam, it's been a long spring. It has. Um, I, like I said, I was thanking everybody for listening. Everybody's like, not everybody. I mean, when we still have thousands of people listening and, you know, you, it's crazy. And then people are like, hey, are you going to talk about this? Sometimes, Actually, I get more comments about people messaging me and saying, like, you should do a podcast about this going on in the world or something not deep like you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like <laughs> like guys here's what uh dads dads what do you guys think about israel Hamas? like, I want, yeah. like what are you we're not about? solving the world's problems yeah no here. there's <laughs> and i and i don't think i am that kind of comedian you know what i mean right. um right. i don't care about comedians just talking about whatever they want you know you know but i don't know I don't think I can solve anything. Also, I feel like every time I feel like I do want to talk about something serious, because people say like, oh, you should do this. It might be a more serious topic. We've only done a couple serious topics that had to be addressed, you know. But like, I also think when comedians like are talking, like, like I worldview is fine. Like, I'm like, I, I have a worldview. We'll get to be friends with me. You know what I mean? Like, I like, right? But- mm -hmm. I just feel like as a, I'm a comedian and a performer and a creative person. 
I feel like if I was like giving lessons about anything else, I'd I I'd be like the audacity. <laughs> I'd be like who? Or even teaching any like someone said you should do a podcast. You know, uh, we had our our twentieth anniversary, right? Yeah, we celebrate our twentieth anniversary, and people are like, oh, you should do a podcast with your wife and blah blah. Number one, she doesn't want to talk about it. like you know what I mean. She like, I get that. Uh, also, it's like nobody's perfect. I feel like, but you know, you're like, oh, you've had a good marriage for this long, and you should. I'm like, well, I don't. I'm. I don't feel like I'm anybody to be like. You should do this. You know, right. what I mean? or like. So you know, there's topics like that where I feel uh, flattered that people ask, right? Like there should, oh, you should talk about your marriage or something, or you should talk about, you know, this. I mean, I feel like I've talked enough over 230 episodes about quote unquote raising kids right? <laughs> right. Uh, to where it's like, you know, nothing's perfect. I mean, look, I'm not wearing my wedding ring during this podcast. Guys, my relationship is in turmoil. Um, <laughs> you know, that was a, Sam, that, I don't know if you know, this This was a thing where I had to, at a point, start wearing, make sure I wear my wedding ring on stage all the time because I talk about my wife and my kids when I perform on stage. So it's naturally like, you know, but there's always somebody. It's all, it's, I call them, I call them Chablis moms. Okay. There's always like a Chablis mom or a Pinot or, well, if she got a couple bucks, you know, Pinot Grige mom out on the night. Uh, the, someone will yell out, where's your wedding ring, mister? Or, you know, and I, you know, now it's like, see what I mean? Even that I'm not perfect. I can't talk about, you know, uh, right. Yeah. Well, my I'm wife. Uh, heckled. So go ahead. I was just going to say, I lost my ring one time on new year's Eve. We were, had a big oh. snowstorm and we were throwing snowballs while I'm left-handed and my ring came off and got lost in the middle of the night. Dude. And I started bawling. And my wife said, that doesn't make us any less married. Get over it. <laughs> Same. That's so funny. <laughs> Same exact. I love that I have a parallel story to you losing your ring. The first time I lost my ring, so funny. I was in the complete opposite. I was on a hot beach, Sam. And I was on, ridiculous. <laughs> we were We were on a mission trip. With kids, we went and built Habitat for Humanity in Jacksonville, Florida. And so at the end of the week, we take the kids to the beach, and I'm being a sand monster. I'm throwing sand at kids because I'm an idiot. And I literally throw a glop of sand. Oh, I'm using my left hand because you said left. I throw a glop of sand uh, at the kids we were hanging out with, you know, the kids who go on a trip. And I watched my ring fly off in the sand into the surf. And I, I literally jumped on it. And and like was like, you know, I was like cradling a pocket Trying of sand. To encompass it. Yeah, like no, like I'll get it right in this little tuffle of tuft of sand in my arms, right? Like I'm hugging a baby bear cub. And a bunch of the kids, like, they're like, what what happened? And I was like, oh, my wedding ring flew off. They're like diving in, looking for but could not find it. There, by the way, there's now you you were upset. Like I was kind of, you know, upset. Like I wanted to, you know, I think I was I married like six too. months, right? <laughs> I was married like six months. Right. Yeah. And I remember these, like a couple of like the, these teenage girls on the trip, they're like sobbing. They're like, we don't know what's going to, you have to find it. How are you going to tell your wife? And I was like, what? I was like, oh yeah, you are high school girls. I'm like, that's <laughs> like, what? I was like, oh yeah. If you lose your boyfriend's jacket like you break up and then he dates tina and then it's crazy like no that's not a big deal it's a ring and so but i actually i think i did buy like a nice ring or you know my aunt used to like make and order jewelry and i think mm -hmm. i got a nice one i lost the white gold one and then i ended up just buying i'm not kidding like a like a silver eight dollar ring that i wore for like 10 years <laughs> But going back to what I was saying, like if I didn't have like a ring on stage, I would, if people ever bought any of my t-shirts, you know, it's wrapped in a rubber band. Uh, an idea that uh, Brad Williams and myself started doing uh, by color coding sizes by rubber band, merch, yeah, tips. Beautiful. Well, I would take a blue rubber band and wrap it around my finger as a wedding band. 
if I would ever forget my ring. And it happens every once in a while. You know, you'll leave it, you know, you're getting ready at the hotel and you're going to the club and you leave it in the bathroom and you're like, ah, I forgot my mm-hmm. ring. You know, boom, rubber band, dude. It's beautiful. You know, that's a beautiful boom. idea. I'm saying if you ever, you know, just so you, in case anywhere in normal life, someone's going to scream at you for not wearing a wedding ring. <laughs> it's, it's dad hacks. It happens to comedians, maybe it's musicians. Happy summer. Here's what, uh, it's funny. I feel like I am, I mean, my friends, my wife and I, we're at the age now where are we still getting ready for like our summer bods? Is that? <laughs> Cause I mean, I've been talking about this for years. It's always a struggle, you know, as you're, as you're growing with your children, different ages, you go from fruit snacks to, you know, uh, mac and cheese every night, you know, and you know, pizza night twice a week when you're busy. So, you know, the parent bod that takes a toll. Okay. Dad's also gained baby weight for about 18 years. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You're eating their snacks, you know? Um, yeah, I will. Hey, late night, I will, I will stand in front of the fridge and pound three Capri Suns. If they're there, Sam, if they're there, Go-Gurts, Go-Gurts, dude, Go-Gurts. I'm not even gonna. I don't want that on the internet. I I just. But uh, <laughs> yep, I'll knock back a gogurt in about a second. I don't want to do any motions. I don't want to show anybody how I crush back a gogurt. You don't need to know any of my ancillary skills. You don't need to know my business. Yeah, but I can smash a gogurt. Okay. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, that's what. Uh, to be honest, one of the best things about being a dad is being hungry at midnight and having so many options. Mm-hmm. you know <laughs> really yeah you have so yeah. many options it's like oh oh somebody has leftover easter candy bing bong thank you um halloween candy I, yeah but i don't i the summer dad bod it's one of those things where you hate hearing this right as a as a spouse a husband a father or a, you know a partner where they're like are you, are you losing weight? Why are you losing weight? And I'm like, what do you mean? What? I'm not. What are you talking about? I'm not, you know what I mean? Like you immediately, right? You're like, wait, I'm not losing weight for nothing. What do you, for you? I'm for you. Maybe no, but <laughs> we've been doing so much yard work this summer, like getting the yard ready. And, uh, I'm still, dude, I'm still going through neck pains and, um, it's just been, you know, doing, I've been digging stuff. I've been shoveling. We've been planting stuff. I've been rototilling. Whoa. Oh, oh, rototiller alert. Any dads out there rototilling? Daddy is. Mm-hmm. Um, That's where the, I don't know. Like, you know, that's where it's at. I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, you may be not losing weight. You're repositioning it. Ah, that's, I love that. I'm not losing weight. It's repositioning itself on my Correct. body. Correct. That's yeah. right. Sometimes, you know, when you, in the springtime, when you get, you know, you get the uh, garden going, you get the yard spruced up, you know, you're going to get your, get your workout a little bit. You're going to mm-hmm. be huffing around, you know, bags of mulch, you know, getting, right. getting some, get some farm strength on you, you know, springtime brings farm strength. Okay. <laughs> and that's every spring. I look forward to getting farm strong. That's what happens. Um, because at that point, like, listen, are you like, why? Okay. Let me just say, if you, I don't want to pull the curtain back too much, but if you're 40, if you're 40, you got a bunch, you got little kids, right? Mm -hmm. I know the answer is why get a summer bod? Now, moms, I can't say nothing. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, mom's bodies go through different things than dads go through, right? Like, mm-hmm. I can't, I, you know what I mean? Yep. So I get it. Moms always want to be summer ready. But I feel like that's the same thing, you know, where I feel the same way now. It's like you just want to feel confident out there. You know what I mean? I don't think, you know, moms are out there trying to, you know, get winks. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> uh, some moms are, hey, you know what I mean? Follow your dreams. Um, Each of their own. Yeah. But it's almost like for me, you think about it and you're like, well, I've always said, who cares, right? Like, who cares? You go to the pool, whatever. I'm walking around like, you know, just, just looking like, you know, 
a bag of pennies, you know what I mean? Just walking around like a rusty bag of coins, you know what I mean? I look disgusting. Uh, looks like a, a light day at the arcade, you know what I mean? <laughs> just got a sack of nickels hanging off my body. That's That's my fat. I just look like a, a slow day at the arcade. I laugh because I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I also realize, like, okay, number one, you don't want to look like a slob out in public. That's okay to be, you know, feel good about that. Sure. But also, here's what I've always thought. I always <laughs> I always feel bad for my wife and kids. <laughs> like, if I look yeah. so slobbingly. I, I don't want people walking around like, she, like, hey, I don't care if she hears me. Like, you know, my wife's a cute lady. She's a cute wife. She's a good looking woman. I'll say that. Okay. On the internet. Listen, <laughs> I feel bad for my wife when people see who she's with <laughs> and they're like, this, this guy, <laughs> a sack of nickels hanging over here. Look at this guy. He's a, like a, like a bag of dirty laundry walking around with this. You know what I mean? Cute mom over here, right? Did your dad lose a bet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, part of me wants, I want to walk around and they're like, oh, good. They, they match. You know what I mean? Like right. I've always, do I match my cute wife? You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be the person in the couple at the pool where they're all going, really? She's with him. Like, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> that's all. Cause that's for her. I want, you know what I mean? Like, oh, good for her. Her husband looks strapping. He combs his hair. You know what I mean? Like, he cares about, you know, he doesn't look like he has jaundice. You know, like, his skin, he he drinks water. He looks okay. You know, like, I want people to think my wife can pick him. You know, at least a little. You know, like, I want her to get some credit. You know, like... She, you don't want her, want her to get credit for just being able to see personality. Exactly. Because you also, <laughs> you know, you also don't want to see a pretty lady with a, like a, a slovenly dude and be like, wow, oh, wow. She's probably crazy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want the, It's all for her. Let's be honest. <laughs> so I know that. And, uh, you know, which by the way, it's, uh, I'll, 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 knock right into this next topic uh if anybody listens uh, i i'm on live 100.7 uh bubba show pittsburgh you can listen to them whenever on the odyssey app but also on my this podcast grind at business boom but if you uh yeah if you listen to the radio uh you may have heard me uh talk about dance season recently because it is i don't know uh sam you have daughters no i have a oh granddaughter gosh, that's, right. that's it i have all boys Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh. Wait, I was like, mm -hmm. out of all your kids, because I was running through, I was like, wait, is there one in there? <laughs> I have a granddaughter. That's it. That's like, right. I knew there was two. something in there. <laughs> Sam has a grandbaby, little girl. But see, so you're, you don't even know what's coming. It might, you know, you might get into this. So I don't know if any uh, parents out there have started dance season. And a lot of, some people don't understand. You, you some people go through sports um you know my kids i have not gone through a lot of sports like them growing up they're not you know my kids aren't going to be d1 athletes you know it's okay mm -hmm. uh but they're they're performing and they're doing all kinds of other cool stuff um using their brains and you know but my daughters they dance and let me tell you this is something that it's like we have to prepare for all week uh i've talked about this on the radio listen I didn't know that dance shows were four hours, Sam. But oh, here's the thing. Lord. Yeah, no. There's an intermission. <laughs> hey, don't worry. There's an intermission. <laughs> oh, but listen, good. but it's almost like I the way I, I think about it is the girls practice, you know, they they dance, they do all their dance, their class, whatever, like they do ballet and whatever, jazz mm -hmm. dancing and Whatever they do, it's almost like they're practicing all year and then they play games all week long. It's like they practice for like one long tournament. Does that make sense? Yep. Like if you play baseball, what if you played all your games in like a week? That'd be crazy. Yeah. That's like dance recitals. That's what it is. Okay. So summer, dance recitals kick off the summer, baby. Like it's it's like a thing where we got a, you get snacks. You know what I mean? Like you, we plan early dinners. 
My wife helps with the little kids, both my daughters. So it's like me, the parents, me and my son, we hold hands. We just <laughs> lock in. You know what I mean? We just, <laughs> we just hold each other tight. And we're like, let's, here we go. Cause you got to sit. It's not just your own daughters. You got to watch like the other, the mommy and me class with the little babies and the, you got to watch the little boys dancing with their dancing with basketballs and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And you got to watch there's ladies, there's seniors. Sam, I don't even know these ladies. All age groups, huh? Yeah. I'm sitting there. I'm watching senior citizens dance. I'm like, this is, I'm not into this. I don't know if I like, I don't want to sit. I don't <laughs> like if you're not their husband or their family, you're like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I feel disrespectful. I don't know. I don't want to watch him, sir. I don't want to watch your wife in a leotard, you know, dance to, you know, black eyed peas. That's rude. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm, I walked in on something. You know what I mean? Right? Like, that's not. I get it. I totally get it. It's just watching other people's wives just dance to Taylor Swift and you have to. I'm, I feel it's, it's almost like you're taking a walk and you see them in their living yeah. room with their window open. It's like, like close, your, close your curtains. You yes. know, look. Like, I don't know. No, I'm. I, everybody has a blast. It's all jokes. Yeah. Um, but here, here's the thing. I realized, you know, it's one of those things where I'm not a comedian that will, uh, what I call a, a ball and chain comedian. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna complain about my life. Like, it's so bad. It's, you know, uh, but yeah, sitting through dance is rough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but I will say. I, I don't deserve the award because I found out that my father-in-law has two daughters and three granddaughters that have been dancing since 2005, okay? So we did the math and all, they all went to the same dance school, you know? We did the math and my father-in-law, now... The girls, they have trophy presentations, okay? And they will say, you know, they'll say how many years they've been dancing. And I feel like every year there should be one parent or grandparent that gets on that stage and announces their years of service <laughs> watching these dance shows. Because my father-in-law, he could get up there and say, I am Pap and I have been watching dance shows, no joke, for 37 years years 37 years 37 this man has put in watching dance shows multiple nights we're talking 60 70 80 who knows 100 plus dance shows over the years he, this is a the purple heart of fatherhood and grandfatherhood <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> i mean this guy deserves a trophy so three more years he will be 40 years watching dance for these girls supporting. And to be honest, if I could end on a note, that's a good dad thing, man. Oh, for that, sure. I just thought, we were all laughing and I thought, you know what? That's what it's about. And that's why I love that guy. Like, that's like, <laughs> I'm like, you just, you shut your mouth. You, hey, you eat a big dinner before you go there. You lay one out on the toilet and you go and you just sit there until your knees are sleeping. Mm-hmm. Because you do it for for you for your daughters and your granddaughters. Do you know what I mean? Yep, or your sons, absolutely. whatever. They got boys' classes, you know. Sure. <laughs> but I think that's the lesson. Uh, hey, and and for Father's Day, um, you know, you just gotta you just gotta be there for your kids, no matter what. Hey, sneak in snacks, take the Benjamin, do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Your yep. your C your C B gums, whatever you gotta do. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, uh, Sam, thanks again. Yes. Thank you. Dude, we're back. Dude, you're always here. You're always here for me. I appreciate it. Sure. Uh, friends, you can always uh, subscribe. You can always support the show on Patreon. We always try to put the show on early. There's, uh, you know, it's just supporting the show. Keep it going so that we can pay for it because we do pay for a show. So I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. Also, you can check out Sam. Uh, Lounge Media is killing it. He's got multiple shows on uh, talking about sports football particularly but also you can always hang out with the guys at the uh, 500 section lounge 
you got you, you're getting you're getting amazing guests that I don't even know. We had a guy on this last week that was a mob enforcer turned DOJ in uh, informant. Right? What? He used a voice changer. I am not that interesting. I uh, so go check out the guys hanging out at Five Hundred Section Lounge with Sam. Yeah, it's good and, stuff. Uh, Always, please, subscribe and share the podcast. If you see clips, I know this is the end of the show, but I want to tell you, subscribe and share. here. Like, please. Uh, yeah. That's the way, That's the way. Uh, you know, we get people uh, listening and watching the show. Uh, Facebook, Instagrams, TikToks, whatever. You know what I mean? Subscribe on your favorite podcast app. Uh, you're the best. And we'll be back. I can't wait to come back. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy, happy yeah. Father's Day to every single mom out there. I see you. And uh, I can't wait to, dude, next podcast, I'm, I'm a garden guy now. I'm telling you, I'm this guy. I got the floppy hat, the dirty jeans. I don't wear jeans. What am I kidding? Okay. Jerks? I got, I, no, I got the, no, what are you talking about? I got the gardening <laughs> Columbia's on, baby. I uh, got gotcha. you. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Peace, friends. Sam, you're the best. Later, dude. Be funny. Be kind, be funny.